Hi there and welcome to this brand new SketchUp rendering tutorial using the render program iRenderNext. So today I'm going to show you the feature section planes. In SketchUp all of you probably know what section planes works like. Um, it's this icon in SketchUp and you can use it to add or to actually look through your model or actually get a section plane of your model which is incredibly useful especially if you want to look inside a building for instance we can now look inside this house as you can see this is a model I've created which um, is perfect for this tutorial um, so in case you don't see uh, section planes in SketchUp the way I do I'll show you how you can add it to SketchUp right now so what you've got to do to add section planes to your toolbar is click over here on view then click on toolbars go down here and then make sure that section is on as you can see if you get it on it will be added to uh, yeah like the toolbar over here and then you can add section planes yourself so I'll add them over here one over there and then put it a little bit more to the back there we go and then I would like to add another one like this and then um, at some point they meet and then you can actually look through the building at, uh, at that point. Uh, and there are several options uh, when it comes to section planes and you'll actually be able to um, see what the several options are and what they do. So in order to look at that, as you can see, I've now added two section planes. You can look see that from the top. One is active, but you don't really have to think about that too much because I render next doesn't really take that into consideration too much. But in order to um, yeah, set section planes, you've got to click over here on setup options. And then for me, it's visible already under the render tab. But if it's not, go here at the search bar and then click in section. And then I'll click over here, use section planes. And then this will show up so in case the lower part is not visible in the render tab you've got to look for it and then you've got the option use section planes over here so if you use active or visible um, active or first visible only if you use that option this is what um, the rendered image will look like so if you use this option only one of the several section planes you might have added to your model will actually be seen as active as you can see over here, so uh, not the two planes we added are being used to see through the building, but only one of them. Uh, then if you use all visible over here, then um, you see both of them. So both of the section planes you added, it can also be if you use three of them, uh, all three of the section planes will be visible. And the same uh, counts for if you choose to go for all in the use section planes tab. And obviously, if you choose to have none of the section planes uh, to be active in the render, then none of them will be visible. So just have a regular render um, which doesn't look through the building or the model. So um, this is incredibly useful, for instance, in this house where there's a huge gate around it. And if you want to actually have a good look into the house, then it's useful to be able to use section planes. And also for rendering, it's very useful to be able to use these section planes. But also in order to look inside a building, uh, rendering interiors can be kind of hard sometimes. If you want to look in them without using section planes, you might have to leave uh, like one part of the four walls one of the walls of the room you might have to leave open to actually look through it but that will mess up the lighting so therefore section planes is just really useful so i hope you found this tutorial useful as well and you'll be able to uh, use this feature now for your own uh, modeling also don't forget i made this using irender next so that's the program i use and what you can uh, render this using section planes with so thank you for watching and then I hope to see you back in another tutorial. Bye. Bye